Upon entering this video, you may already be drawn to a certain group of cards. If so, then those are your cards for this reading. But if not, go ahead and take a few moments now to really center in your energy, taking a deep breath in. And out. Continuing to breathe deeply as I welcome you in here. So hi everyone, Venus here and welcome to this pick a card reading video. So this pick a card reading video I'm super excited to bring to you guys but first and foremost I do have to say um, my voice is feeling a little hoarse so excuse me if I sound like a dying cat. Anyways, I'm super excited to bring this to you guys because this is a pick a card reading video for when you're feeling a bit stuck and you don't know what to do, if you're just feeling a bit meh, if you're feeling out of sorts, you're just not sure what place in life you are at right now, you don't know what's going on. This is for those moments when you have no idea what is going on in your life and this is going to bring clarity to you so with that being said hopefully you already chose a card but if not you can go ahead and pause this video but i'm gonna get started right away so this is group one group two group three and group four timestamps will be in the description box below as well as in the pinned comments Alrighty, and welcome to those of you who chose group number one for your reading. So let's go ahead and see what you are going through in life right this moment. So we have for you the Keeper of Scales. So the Keeper of Scales is a good sign that right now, harmony and balance is being restored into your life. Now, oftentimes, Things will feel difficult, things may have to be thrown out, things may be leaving, it may be a painful transition, a painful change, but this is all in good cause because harmony and balance is being restored into your life. Now, this may be as in internally you are finding balance with yourself, you are finding harmony within yourself. It could be that you are... Um, getting to love yourself more or perhaps just finding a more head and heart balance within yourself. Some of you, this could be physically with yourself. It could be that you're feeling under the weather and you are achieving that harmony and balance, but because your body is kind of out of sorts, your mind is becoming out of sorts as well. And you know, having a cold or a cough or whatever can really be causing you to think in different ways if that makes sense but this harmony and balance card can also refer to your outer world as well so outer conflicts are being resolved um anything that has been bothering you or causing you pain or has been making your life feel out of balance is quickly moving away so we are in this transitioning period of bringing balance into your life. So that is what the Keeper of Scales is doing. So it may feel a bit hard or it may feel a bit confusing right now, or maybe not. Maybe you see that this is exactly what is happening, but either way, however it is happening to you, just know that the events taking place in your life right now are all to help bring harmony and balance into your life. So we have an advice card here to help you weather through through it all and we have for you the nine of pentacles so with the nine of pentacles she says you know take a step back and just simply enjoy what you have in your life think about everything you have worked for think about everything that you have successfully manifested think about the person you used to be and the person you are now and even if it is the smallest difference to take pride take joy in that enjoy that transitioning okay this Nine of Pentacles advice card is simply telling you to enjoy the moment. Be here now and be grateful. And if you feel as if you have nothing to be grateful for, 
you need to especially start counting your blessings now because the more gratitude you put out into the world the more you bring gratitude into your life hence the law of attraction but if you don't feel gratitude in your life right now you're simply going to be attracting more things to not feel grateful for so once again it's the law of attraction and the nine of pentacles does is about money it is about finances security stability so if you are feeling worried about any of those things the nine of pentacles is also a great sign that those things will start to look up for you and so do not worry okay so another thing about the nine of pentacles is putting beauty into your life taking time to smell the flowers taking time to kind of live in the moment so making the environment around you beautiful doing things to feel beautiful yourself doing things to really enjoy your environment etc 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 and the nine of pentacles lady also demands of you to live life on your own terms she tells you that if this is not how you want your life to be then you have every right to make it the way you want okay so this was your reading. Hopefully it brought some enlightenment. And once again, sorry for my voice. I am feeling a bit hoarse this morning. But without further chattering on about that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. And thank you all to everyone who is supporting this channel on patreon i wish you guys the best of luck and i will see you next time bye and welcome in to those of you who chose group number two for your reading so let's go ahead and see what it is you are going through right now right this moment we have for you the dragon's duel Okay, so this is all about inner conflict, morality, and conscious choice. So, what you are going through right now, if it does feel like it is an outside thing, it is definitely because of what is happening internally. What is happening internally is manifesting your outside desires. So, or not even your desires, but your outside reality. And your desires do manifest your reality, is what I meant by that. So... The dragon's duel can show that there may be a little gap between what you want, your desires, and what is truly manifesting. Perhaps you are focusing too much on what you don't want and thus that is manifesting. The dragon's duel also shows to say that you may be having some sort of inner conflict. There might be a battle between head and heart, between eagle, <laughs> eagle, yes, Venus, eagle, um, between ego and your true soul calling, your true path between spirituality and your ego. You may be torn between something that you want to do versus something others may want you to do so the dragon duel the dragon's duel represents some inner conflict of that type okay and you will know what it is for you once again this is a general reading but you will definitely know what that is for you what that inner conflict is and what it is all about for you okay so trust yourself if you feel as if you're not too sure about what it could be just trust yourself trust the first thought that comes to mind when you heard this card because that is most likely what it is about now we have here your advice card and we have for you the two of wands so the two of wands coming to you as an advice card really beautiful the two of wands kind of asks of you to look around you, gather a new sense of purpose, okay? The Two of Wands is saying that you may not have a direction right now, which is why there's so much of a battle going on. It's saying that you may not have yet decided where you want to go or what you want to do or what you want to create in your life. And thus, these things are manifesting haphazardly into your reality, be, into your reality because of this uncertainty. Now, 
The Two of Wands asks of you to look into your future, determine what it is you want in your future, and then make plans based on that, okay? So where do you want to go next? Make that move. Start inquiring. Start asking people. If you have been wanting to go somewhere or do something or start a new branch of whatever it is, you know, if you have been wanting to do something, this Two of Wands card is a sign to do so. And as I'm looking at the timestamps, I see 1111. So even more of a synchronicity, this Two of Wands is asking you to follow your heart, follow what it is you have been wanting to do. This is a sign to just go for it, okay? And the Two of Wands also says to be open to um, other ways of thinking or other opportunities. Be open to something different than what you expect, okay? This could be in regards to people, places, things, or situations. Maybe you have been trying to manifest a particular event, but in your head there's only one clear way to go about it. And this Two of Wands is saying that you can have what it is you're trying to manifest into your life, but because you keep thinking about the how, about this one certain way that it is to be brought about into your life, you are thus creating a block. So don't worry about how it's going to come into your life. Be open to other ways or possibilities and just know that it will come into your life. And don't be afraid to be surprised, okay? And the Two of Wands is also just a reminder to reflect on how far you've come. And even if it seems like a small distance, like you have come a really big way. You have come tremendously far and wide and it is an accomplishment in itself. Even if it doesn't seem like it, our accomplishments and our steps and journeys seem so small and so minuscule because we are living with ourselves every day. But imagine, you know, looking back at yourself from two years ago and imagining that you haven't seen yourself since then and thinking about where you are now. It really is an enlightening thing to think about. Like, wow, I really came on this journey this far, so. With that being said, this was your reading. Hopefully it enlightened you in some way. And again, apologies for my voice. I am feeling a bit under the weather. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. If not, completely okay. And also big shout out to everyone supporting me on Patreon. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much. And I wish you guys the best of luck. In love and light, I will see you next time. Bye. Alrighty, and hello to those of you who chose group number three for your reading. So let's go ahead and see what you are currently going through right now. And we have the Shadow Queen in reverse, actually. So the Shadow Queen is all about acquiring knowledge and security and manipulation and she comes to you in reverse so the shadow queen usually represents that you are going through some sort of shadow work you may be aware of it but because she's coming to you in reverse it may be shadow aspects of yourself that you are unaware about and so for any of you who aren't too clear on what shadow work is it's basically facing your inner darkness it's facing you know, every raw, gritty, dark thing about yourself and coming to terms with it, seeing in which ways you are operating from your ego in a place of negativity and a place of hurting others and creating chaos into the world and creating darkness and this shadow into the world and coming to terms with that, accepting that part of you and growing from it. So that is your shadow work. So some of you definitely know what it is you are going through right now, but others of you, this shadow work is a bit more tricky to understand, okay? It can be your ego parading as a false sense of superiority when deep down you may be actually really insecure. It could be you manipulating other people to stay in your life because deep down you're worried that people won't want you to won't want to stay for who you truly are so 
this is all things that you have to work on with yourself and this is what you are currently going through right now which is why it may be feeling a little new or feeling hard or feeling just uncertain it could be a sign that you don't really um, walk around in this shadow work territory as much as you should and so this is definitely all about shadow work and you can look up a million more articles and videos on that which will be much more self-explanatory and it can also be much more enlightening to your particular situation. This is a general reading so I'm not about to go over every different way this shadow side of yourself can be projecting or manifesting but definitely you will know for yourself what part of you needs this healing and needs love okay so that is what you are going through currently and we are going to be looking at your advice card now how do we handle this how do we go through it how do we grow through it we have the hero fint for you okay so with the hero fit it kind of asks of you to follow some sort of structure some sort of routine maybe getting into a habit or routine of daily self-love or daily self-care this can also talk about asking others for advice perhaps you really don't know yourself too much and so asking someone close to you asking someone who you trust and love and know that will give you a good answer not a hurtful answer um talking to people you love and just asking you know like what is an aspect of myself that i need to work on or asking you know when i am at my worst what is the person i become i have had many enlightening um revelations just simply asking one of my best friends you know what am i at my worst and how should i go about fixing it and you know if they love you and if they are truly caring for you, they're going to be truly honest and they're going to give you a response that will be helpful and not hurtful. So do try to find the counsel of your friends, family that you trust, okay? Now, with this Hero Fink card, you also may need to step into a leadership role in your, in your life and take your own advice and really take charge and really... Be the leader in your own life, really all about also taking responsibility for the things that has happened to you and the things that you have done to other people and taking responsibility for who you are, which can be a very hard thing to do. It can be hard to take responsibility and acknowledge that we have hurt another person or have brought some aspect of shadow into the life of other people. So that is something this Hero Fit card is advising you to do as well. So this is your, these are your cards for this reading. Hopefully that was able to bring some enlightenment in some way. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. If not completely okay, I'll forgive you. Huge shout out to everyone supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for that. And once again, terribly sorry for my voice, you guys. I am feeling really under the weather physically, but nothing good old vitamin c can fix but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video once again thank you i'm glad i was able to be of service and with that being said i wish you guys the best of luck and love and light and i will see you guys next time okay bye bye Alrighty, and last but not least, hello and welcome to those of you who chose group number four for your reading. And once again, apologies for my voice, I am feeling a bit under the weather. I might be sounding a bit hoarse or nasally, and that's just because physically, um, it's cold over here, is all I can say to explain that. So not used to the cold weather, so... Nothing a little vitamin C won't fix, but anyways, this is about you, not me. Let's get into your reading. So let's see what you're currently going through, guys. We have the Winged Wise Ones. This is all about angelic help and miraculous aid, okay? So this is a really beautiful card to be coming through for you right now. Whatever it is you are going through at this moment, 
This card is a sign that you are being divinely guided, that you are being helped by your angels, by light workers, by spirit guides, okay? They are in your life and they are working. And so all you have to do is let go, let things go where they shall take you. Stop resisting. It's simply be and trust and follow, okay? So right now you are being divinely guided, angel, spirit guides, light workers, whatever you believe in as a higher power is helping you and it is shaping your life right now. And they are definitely looking out for you and guiding you, even though you may not feel it. Even I know some of you right now are probably feeling that your life is really chaotic or you don't know where you're going or it just feels stagnant. Trust that you are exactly where you need to be because with this card, this card is a confirmation that you are where you need to be and that you are being divinely guided and helped. That you have spirit guides, angels, light workers, God, the universe on your side right now and they are doing everything to get you to where you need to be and where you want to be, okay? So this is a very beautiful sign for you guys. So this is to have trust, have faith, don't worry, and definitely do not doubt because this card is a very, 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 very good sign. It is a sign from higher consciousness, intuitive wisdom. It is a sign that, you know, things are going out the way it needs to be. You just need to go with the flow and trust. The reason why you may be experiencing some resistance is because you could be, um, you know, trying to make your own mark, trying to steer in a different way right now. But right now, Jesus has the wheel, so trust that Jesus knows where he's going. And that is a metaphor for those of you who don't believe in Jesus. I was just trying to be funny. Sorry if it didn't work. <laughs> Anyways, so we have your advice card here. So Two of Swords is coming in as an advice card and I am still thinking about that Jesus joke. Hi guys, I'm Venus. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, I make ridiculous jokes and I'm often really sarcastic. So hi, welcome. I'm Venus. Anyways, Two of Swords as your advice card, okay? This card is saying you are not ready to make a decision or go forward yet. You need to wait it out, sit it out. And exactly like I was saying with the winged wise ones, right? Let Jesus take the wheel, literally, guys. You know, let the spirit, let the universe, let higher power, let God move you right now. It is not in your place for your human intervention. The divine is working right now and you just need to sit back, relax, and watch it all unfold, okay? So... Instead of looking outwards and trying to control things in that way and try instead of trying to Balance things in your outer life the two of swords asks of you to look within instead for this time being and to ask how you can find balance within yourself how can you um, Create harmony inside of yourself Okay, and for some of you having conflict or having some sort of discrepancy or debate or going on in your life this two of swords asks of you to call a truce to pull back and to really do inner reflecting right now is not a time for you to be wasting away in such frivolous tedious you know interactions okay if you have some beef with someone or if you're having trouble with someone um, step back from it a bit, be the bigger person, okay? And with also the Two of Swords, the Two of Swords also asks you to think things through carefully, weigh out pros and cons of everything, make sure you know everything, make sure you're not acting from a place of emotion too strictly, and make sure you're not too strictly acting from a place of logic and not considering emotion. And the Two of Swords also asks of you to, once again, introspection, meditate, listen, really 
seek counsel and guidance within that higher power within yourself okay this is a sign that you know the divine is working in your life right now things are going good for you and you have to take a step back and while it may be hard for you to take a step back the ego is the part of us that always wants to be controlling and always wants to take part in whatever is going on the divine is saying right now like honey it's time for you to watch and learn so while your ego may be wanting to control Control every aspect of what's going on in your reality and may have a hard time trusting all you can do right now is to simply go within and work on yourself and that will be a great distraction while your higher powers are manifesting a beautiful life for you okay this is a really good sign that good is coming good is on the way it's a great omen that something beautiful is manifesting in your life right now okay so i'm really excited and happy for you guys so with that being said this was your reading hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please leave me a like a comment maybe even subscribe if not completely okay and huge shout out to everyone supporting me on patreon and supporting this channel um thank you guys so much it really means a lot you really do help keep this channel going and with that being said once again if you enjoyed this video i'm glad and i wish you guys the best of luck and love and light i hope that your journey is easy and full of healing love and light and i will see you next time Bye bye